In the three years since Persona 5's original release, I've thought about it almost every day. Its lavish style captures its spirit of rebellion and breathes life into its dynamic combat system. The evocative, banging soundtrack perfectly encapsulates the emotion of each moment. The downtime spent in Tokyo with all your friends brings you closer to them, invigorating your fight for what's right. All those qualities feed into a bold story that unapologetically puts its foot down against the injustices that reflect our own society. The extended version, Persona 5 Royal, brings the heat all over again. But beyond a plethora of superb gameplay refinements and features that improve an already rich RPG, comes a momentous new story arc seeded within the original narrative and paid off in full by the end. It delivers something genuinely surprising, leading to incredible moments and emotional conclusions that recontextualize what I thought the game was. And through its lengthy 120 hour runtime, Persona 5 Royal proves itself as the definitive version of a modern classic. Because P5R expertly intertwines social sim elements and RPG dungeon crawling, you grow attached to the very world you're fighting to change. It's been the series' foundation since Persona 3, and most effective here in P5R. Balancing school life, relationships, and your duties as a phantom thief throughout the calendar year even makes the mundane exciting. You'll spend time with characters to learn about what drives them and witness their growth as they internalize and overcome their trauma. Among your connections are kind-hearted adults exhausted by a system that has failed them, and teenagers haunted by their past and dreading their future. These are very human stories that inspire in their own small way, and these relationships with your confidants bestow powers you carry into battle. P5R makes the confidant process easier with new scenes to help rank them up faster, effectively granting the opportunity to see more of these enticing stories, which is important because there are a few new confidants as well. Goro Okechi is now someone you choose to spend time with, which eventually leads to a better understanding of him this time around. Kasumi Yoshizawa has been touted as the big addition to the roster. She fits in well, and you'll see that her desire to be an elite competitive gymnast comes from a complicated place. Although her screen time is limited in the first half of the game, she becomes vital to the delivery of the new story arcs, and a welcome ally to fight alongside the rest of the gang you know and love. But above all is the school counselor Takuto Maroki, a tremendous character who truly elevates P5R narratively. He's an excellent thematic fit, offering perspectives on mental health that hadn't been touched in the original. His story is cleverly integrated into the core narrative, and he's also key for what lies beyond Persona 5's original story and some of P5R's best moments. You have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. In the metaverse, the physical manifestation of corrupted cognition, hard-fought battles take place. You metaphysically crush the distorted desires of perpetrators who have oppressed your friends and many others, and you do it with a hyper-stylized, confident swagger. Taking on the story-critical palaces never loses its luster, and at times, their very premise is subverted to great effect. Palaces feature some small but smart changes in P5R. Rearranged dungeon layouts accommodate Joker's new grappling hook, letting you access new areas. They often lead to Will Seeds, a new collectible that replenishes SP and mold into a useful accessory. Returning players may also notice streamlining of some dungeon layouts, making exploration smoother. Mementos, the metaverse's collection of procedurally generated floors, also gets some much needed overhauls. Driving through as the Morgana bus was novel, but eventually grew repetitive in the original game. P5R throws in some new mechanics, like collecting flowers and stamps to cash in for useful items, and perks to boost battle rewards. And the most welcome change is that there are new tunes that play at deeper levels. Aside from stealthily navigating these surreal dungeons, you'll be spending a ton of time engaged in P5R's dynamic turn-based battles. It's swift and stylish and builds on the strong foundation of Shin Megami Tensei, which has you focusing on exploiting elemental weaknesses and earning extra turns. P5R layers even more onto battles with the absurd Showtime attacks and the powered up baton pass mechanic. And boss fights have different phases that present new tough challenges that test your mastery of the combat system. Everything unfolds in such stylish fashion that you can't help but fall in love with it and the phantom thieves who pull off all these stunning moves. Even the UI looks cool as hell, but it's also snappy and efficient, helping keep up combat's fast pace. And even in this second version of the game, executing all-out attacks and watching them unfold hasn't lost a bit of its charm. Never has a turn-based combat system been this thrilling. Let's go. 
but P5R isn't here to just look pretty. Beneath the mask of its unrelenting style and charming silliness are the friendships you naturally form, which motivate you to take the fight to the very end. From their persona awakenings to the moment you see them fully realize their goals, your fellow Phantom Thieves become your ride or die in this heavy, empowering story. In targeting the perpetrators of sexual assault, worker exploitation, and vile authoritarianism, Persona 5 draws a clear line in the sand. People like this have no place in our society and deserve no mercy. There is no middle ground, no compromise to be made. Even when personal drama or doubt starts to creep in, characters work through it and stick to their ideals. Admittedly, P5R is often subtle as a brick. It's easy to nitpick where its writing falls into being too simplistic. Although it has improved in some ways, it can still be crude at times. It isn't particularly nuanced in its storytelling, but it doesn't have to be. In being clear as day in its narrative, its messages and characterizations are unmistakable. Now transitioning to the royal exclusive third semester, there's a tonal shift that's effortlessly executed. It's oddly unsettling, especially during a seemingly blissful winter. Here, P5R takes a turn toward genuine moral quandaries. There's a bit more to learn about your friends, and there's one final palace to infiltrate, and it is without a doubt the best one in the entire game. The mysteries within will surprise you with fascinating revelations about characters that propel them well beyond their first impression. And a grand sense of finality leads into what's also the best boss battle in all of P5R. It effectively solves one of the shortcomings of the original game, its somewhat abrupt end. There's 15 to 20 hours worth of essential content that takes Persona 5 in a new direction while going all in on the game's best qualities. It gives a dramatic, stunning finish even after the original's bombastic, over-the-top conclusion. And these events are beautifully captured with new royal exclusive songs that amplify what was already an iconic genre-bending soundtrack. Like our old favorites, Life Will Change or Rivers in the Desert, the new evocative jams become a powerful narrative device. I believe and Throw Away Your Mask carry the emotional weight in their lyrics and composition. And when you hear them in their moment, they'll stick with you well after. Music is inseparable from the Persona experience. The series thrives because of it, and somehow, some way, P5R delivers again to make an even stronger impact. As P5R comes to a close, it tries to ease you into its end with heartwarming scenes, some new, some familiar. But in doing so, it only makes it harder to say goodbye, again. Persona 5 Royal is many things, a collection of small, inspiring stories, an ambitious, heartfelt journey with some good friends, a stunning visual and auditory experience, a resounding call to action. By refining what was already great and building on its best qualities with a brilliant new story arc, Persona 5 Royal asserts itself as an unforgettable and empowering RPG that should be recognized as one of the best games of our time.